Hi, I'm Officer Mike Bernicardi with the Livermore Police Department. We want to thank you for your interest in becoming an employee with the Livermore Police. Hi, I'm Bonnie Tom, and I'm from the Human Resources Department with the City of Livermore. At this point, you're preparing for your upcoming Qualifications Appraisal Board interview. This video is intended to help you since not everyone has participated in a structured interview panel format before. Your panel interview will consist of subject matter experts. This may include any combination of experienced employees and supervisors from the City of Livermore, the Livermore Police Department, other police agencies, and community representatives. Prior to your interview, review the most recent email you received from Human Resources. This email will inform you if this interview will be conducted in person or virtually using Zoom. If you haven't used Zoom before, this would be a great opportunity to check it out and practice with it before the day of your interview. A few key points to keep in mind prior to engaging in a Zoom interview. Number one, make sure you are in a quiet location that is free from distractions. Number two, make sure your background is appropriate. You should choose a backdrop that is neutral without any bold or distracting wall hangings or personal belongings. Number three, check the angle of your camera and the lighting to ensure the most pleasing angle is presented. Number four, remember to dress professionally. And number five, the most important one, make sure you have strong internet connection. Weak internet connection can cause your video to freeze or your audio to be delayed. If your interview will be conducted in person, here are a few key points to keep in mind. Number one, make sure you arrive on time and plan for any possible traffic delays. Number two, do not bring anything into the interview that would be distracting. And number three, present yourself in a professional manner. Dress professionally and refrain from using perfume or cologne. As a candidate, here are some things to think about before you come in. Read the job announcement and the job description. Those provide details on the attributes the city is looking for with our applicants. Pay attention to current events and news related to law enforcement. Research the city and the Livermore Police Department's mission, vision, and values. Think about what these mean to you. Also, know who the key leaders are. Prepare a good opening and closing statement, which should include why you are the best fit for the position and why you are ready to work for the Livermore Police. Generally, a good opening statement is three to four minutes, and a closing statement is one to two minutes. What is it that makes you unique to other candidates? Use the closing statement to add anything you may have forgotten. For police officer applicants, think about the ethics, morals, and characteristics a police officer must have. Think about what an officer does on a daily basis. We highly encourage you to go on a ride along before your interview day. You should understand the difference between the letter of the law versus the spirit of the law. During your oral board interview, there will be scenario-based questions. During these questions, make clear and concise decisions, and most importantly, be honest about how you'd handle the situation. For all of you applicants, practice, practice, practice before you come in. Record yourself at home or practice with someone that you trust. Good luck with your interview. And thank you again for your interest in the Livermore Police Department.